Good morning. I'm Hasi El Cordoba, and this is a 69 News netcast. If you weren't watching 69 News at sunrise, here's a bit of what you missed. Two people remain in critical condition after a massive carbon monoxide leak spread into several homes in Montgomery County. Other neighbors are being treated at the hospital. WFMZ's Hillary Lane has more. It looks crazy. It's been anything but a festive Memorial Day weekend for these locals living on this Norristown block. My sister, my niece, and my nephew were taken to the hospital because their levels were so high. It was a dangerous situation. Emergency crews responded to a carbon monoxide leak on the 100 block of West Airy Street. It all happened a little after 11 Saturday night. And when they brought the lady out, like she was all balled up on the ground and everything, like she couldn't move. Like we thought she was dead. Eight people were taken to the hospital. Two remain in critical condition. Crews also rescued a few animals in the row home as well. One of the dogs was treated with oxygen. Inside was a German Shepherd and another dog that were both uh, rescued and, and being treated uh, uh, by paramedics as well. Officials say an electric generator that was running in the basement of one of the homes caused the carbon monoxide leak. According to authorities, the generator was being used to heat one of the homes after power had been cut off when bills weren't paid. The exhaust um, backed up into the homes from the basement uh, and, and to all the homes. Fire crews say they were alerted to the situation after a neighbor called 911 when her carbon monoxide detector started going off. If it wasn't for my sister smelling that and hurry up and calling the fire company, like we all could have been on. Hillary Lane, 69 News. Police are investigating after a man was shot dead and a woman was injured by gunfire in broad daylight in a busy Reading neighborhood yesterday. The female is being treated for non-life threatening injuries. It all happened a little after 4 p.m. on the corners of West Douglas and Ritter Streets. Neighbors say they can't believe all of this happened in their block. It's kind of crazy that, you know, it happened because I wouldn't expect somebody to get shot. At. And the case remains under investigation. Boy Scouts in the Lehigh Valley joined with a local church for a special Memorial Day weekend ceremony. A flower ceremony at St. John's Church Cemetery in Bethlehem Township paid tribute to all servicemen and women and veterans, both living and deceased. During the ceremony, Boy Scouts from Troop 317 placed flowers at every military grave site. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. With the 69 News netcast, I'm Hasiel Cordoba.